Hi there. What's up everybody, Scott here. Welcome back to another video, bright and early. Last week's video, obviously it ended with, uh, well it was actually yesterday. I came here, same spot, got some pictures of the sunrise. I made a vow that I would do it again and So it doesn't look like I'm gonna get my sunrise this morning. It was perfect yesterday, perfect conditions. Yeah, can't control that. It was also raining, I'd say maybe 20 minutes ago. It's cleared up, it's dry now, but yeah, not great. Oh well, I'll still probably set up something, make the most of it, so I haven't completely wasted my time. It's just a thing with sunrises and sunsets here. You just never know if you're gonna get that cloud barrier just on the horizon, so. Um, but yeah, it's typical. Perfect conditions yesterday and then this morning with the formatted memory card too. Anyway, let's see what I can get here. to the car but uh yeah look at yeah i don't know um they're kind of vicious here they're, they've been attacking each other chasing each other chasing me it's funny um literally just chickens scattered all over the island wherever they just do what they want, and they're loud. Without fail, every single morning, they wake us up. So, celebration time? Yeah, do you wanna tell them what happened? Yeah. Katie went to the doctors today for her checkup. For those that don't know, just before Christmas, poor old Katie had to have emergency surgery to get her appendix removed. Luckily though, she was released the day before Christmas, so at least we got to... Christmas Eve came home. Yeah, Christmas Eve, so at least we got to spend Christmas Day together. We spent what? Four days. Four three days, nights. three nights in the hospital. It was just all very sudden. So went to the doctors today just for yeah. the, the checkup, even though it was a little delayed. It was a few weeks delayed, wasn't yeah. it? It was supposed to be a few weeks ago. Typical Cayman. Yeah. Um, so decided to celebrate. We're going to go to Kamana Bay and it's going to go get some ice cream.
did ever slow us down We knew we'd get here Went the extra mile in every race We are duty bound Just back from the grocery store, got some fruit and veg Gonna juice them I wanna make a couple juices for the next few days Not a complete juice cleanse or anything like that I'm Not substituting my food I'll still be eating normal Just wanted to kind of give my body a bit of a kick up the butt really in terms of getting all the nutrients and veggies and all that kind of stuff into it. That's one thing that's quite annoying here is vegetables and fruits they're super expensive. Juices from like proper juice stores, cafes and places like that they're extortionate. Then again so is shopping for the actual fruit and veg as well so I can kind of understand. Let's see what I got. Some celery, some spinach, turmeric, lots of ginger, cucumbers, Got some broccoli, carrots, oranges, Granny Smith, and some lemons. So they've been sitting up there for a while. Gonna rinse them off, just so they're nice and clean. So everything nicely sliced and diced. So I've got about five stalks of celery, half a cucumber, three apples, just a wedge of lemon, about an inch of turmeric, an inch and a half ginger, about three or four stalks of broccoli. Then with the spinach, take a big handful. Put that underneath there. It'll chill it. It gives it some water content as well. So yeah, it should be good. Right, that's all I got this in there. Bad. So for the orange one, we'll go with three oranges chopped up with the peel still on, a tiny bit of ginger, another wedge of lemon, three to four small carrots, a couple stalks of celery, and then just one apple. So now the cleanup. This thing's not too bad, thankfully. Like this, I'll just dump it there, just like that. Turn that on. I'll just do the rest, and then that's it. Job done. This is five minute crafts with Scott. Not really, but basically I, I was looking for rope to tie down my tripod or to secure it to like a balcony ledge or something like that. As per usual on the island, I just can't find simple stuff. So I've got to make my own. So I've got some power cords, some nuts, some bolts, some spacers. I guess let's get started. Screw through the spacer on one side and on the other. So you're clamping them together, the nut on. Well, that's annoying. Two different size nuts, basically just people picking up stuff and just throwing it in to the wrong one. That's basically going nowhere. I went back to the store and got some more. I got some additional ones as well in case I want to make more down the line. Also got some heat shrink just to neaten the whole process up. So uh, I'll stick these on. Get your lighter. That's basically it. So I'll do that for the rest of them just to neaten it up. Also stops it catching on anything. Not bad. So Valentine's Day is coming up and it turns out I'm a soppy romantic at heart. So I'm gonna give Katie a little 
treasure hunt. The surprise is that she's been wanting to go on a picnic for a very long time. I was out in Commander Bay earlier and I saw this picnic basket. This one is perfect, a picnic for two. Comes with the blanket and knives and forks and plates and all that kind of stuff. Now, Sunday is Valentine's Day. Gonna take her on a lovely picnic across the way, just on the beach for sunset. I'll organize Ragazzi, which is a fantastic Italian restaurant on island. We get some pizzas delivered to the beach. Better, best get riding. And it all starts with this guy. So he has a little note in his ear telling her to go upstairs to my den. That note then tells her to go downstairs to the cabinet underneath the bar. That note then sends her to the boot or the trunk of the Fiat. That note then sends her back inside. So I'll be sitting in here, obviously, while she's going out. Hidden in here is the picnic basket. So I'll get this ready, set it up on the table. She'll come back in and she'll put it all together. Oh, and hidden inside, some lovely diamond earrings. And I know today is only Thursday, Valentine's is on Sunday. However, she is working from home tomorrow and then obviously Saturday we're, we're just chilling and then Sunday so I won't get a chance to set this all up. Friday evening, end of the week, Katie and I we're gonna go to Grand Old House, we're a restaurant bar just down the road and we're gonna get the sunset. Weather is looking pretty good for a, a nice sunset but we were there some time ago, there was a guy paddle boarding with his dog on the actual paddle board as well. I didn't have my camera stuff with me then. We'd been meaning to go back, try and catch him again. Hopefully we see him. I think it's pretty cool. You ready? Ready. How long has it been since we've snorkeled? I want to say probably about six months. It could even be longer. Hurricane season though was to blame for part of that and then obviously your surgery and everything. Couldn't go it's swimming then? Swimming. Yeah, so. The weather's looking pretty good out there, so it should be fun. We're here at Smith's, Smith's Cove or Smith Barricade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, quite a few waves. We'll still go in, see what we can see. There's a little reef about 40 or 50 feet, so we'll go have a look at that. So on second thoughts, just had a look. A lot of the sand is getting swirled around, so visibility is not great there. We were thinking we'll just go in for a quick dip, but what we might do is we might go to one of the iron shores, uh, Eden Rock, it's just up the road. Uh, you just get in by a ladder there, um, it's just coral and uh, rock, like, as soon as you get in, so there's no sand to scroll around, so the sea is a bit more visibility there, and if it's a uh, camera there. So. Alright, so we're here at Eden Rock, extremely calm, it's like a bathtub, crystal clear, so.
Well, that's a wrap for this video. Uh, tired today after all that. Snorkeling really took it out of us. Um, the sun as well, it's incredibly tiring, but it was good, it was fun. I'm gonna try and make more of an effort now to get out. As the weather is getting better, we'll be definitely going out a bit more. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, because I'd love to see you here again. Until next week, next week's video is gonna be good. We have a little staycation planned midweek up in Rum Point. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, until then, I'll see you next week. Cheers. Isn't that a pretty looking chef?